know how you follow a group like this, I'm telling you. You know, I finished last year too, maybe not that close to the top, but I was in there somewhere. I decided to throw away my material. I'm going to just be impromptu tonight. So if I stink, it's because I'm being impromptu, not because I didn't know my material. I've been, uh, I've been practicing my golf game because I'm a terrible golfer. It's true. Anybody who played with me will tell you that. Oh, the pros. They, they, the pros really get me. They have it made. They have top-of-the-line clubs. I have to buy mine from uh, 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 Kroger. And they have... Well, I do. And they have pro caddies. And they get to hit their balls from places like the green and, and, and the fairway. I mean, I'm hitting mine from the bottom of the damn lakes in the parking lots. You know, that's not easy. That's not easy. I really am glad to see the resurgence and the popularity of uh, pirates. I guess it's because of the Pirate of the Caribbean movie. I've always wanted to be a pirate. I've actually always wanted to have a parrot right here on my shoulder. I wouldn't teach him Polly wants a cracker or stuff like that. I'd teach him important things. Names, addresses, phone numbers. He'd be my own personal palm pilot. You got a meeting at 4 o'clock with Carol. You got to pick up your laundry after work. Oh, oh no. Uh -uh, uh uh. No toe tapping in the stall at the airport. Uh uh. <laughs> ah, wah, wah. There's no such thing as uh, pimples on a butt. Use protection. Look, use protection. I thought it was going to be good. But I do appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Parrot, by the way. Thank you for all your help. Uh, my wife and I recently took a trip to visit my in-laws. So we had to go to that hyphenated airport in Atlanta, the uh, 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 Huntley, Brinkley, uh, Laurel and Hardy, whatever, Atlanta International Airport. Now, they live in Birmingham. So we had to adjust to a difference in time. Like here it's 9.35, there it's 19.62. But the cost of living in Alabama is really inexpensive. Unless you're the tooth fairy. Think about that one. My father-in-law asked if he could buy a BB gun for my grandson. I said, sure. And while you're at it, you might as well pick up a couple of glass eyes for his little brother. We go to the airport. Security, I've never seen it like this. It's really, really tight. The examiner comes up to me and says, I have good news and bad news. You are going to make your flight, but you have an enlarged prostate. <laughs> now, I'm not prejudiced, but the examiner was a little person. Believe it or not, I was afraid to bring this up until I heard Rufus. Little people freak me out. I had an accident with one once. He comes over, he says, no, I'm not happy. I said, well, which one are you then? He didn't like that at all. I got to fly on Hooters Air once before they went out of business. Yeah, those stewardesses, whoo. 
It wasn't just the tray tables in the upright position, no sir. But the first thing they tell you when you get on a plane is all the bad things that can happen to you. In case of a loss of cabin pressure, air masks will fall from the ceiling. Now who do they think they're fooling with those air masks? They're nothing but used margarine cartons on a string. They want you to put it over your nose so while you're falling through the sky, you can't smell the other passengers shitting in their pants. And in case of an emergency, there will be four exits. Now that's in addition to the huge fifth one that will be created as a result of the crash. In case of a water landing, your seat cushions may be used as flotation devices. That's good. Until the sharks come. Then there will merely be croutons. Now, it's true they're less than honest with you when they give you those instructions. But sometimes total honesty is not what you want to hear. Uh, actually, officer, I was going much faster than that. I have a vet, you know. Uh, honey, it's not your pants that make your ass look fat. Love you? Are you kidding? I'm trying to get in your pants, girl. I read that if a shark does attack you, you're supposed to punch him in the mouth. And I guess if that doesn't work, you can stick them in the eye with your arm stub. <laughs> Punch him in the mouth. What if he's just curious and he just wants to see what you're up to? Hey, what'd you do that for? I thought you were going to attack me. Well, I am now. The other shark saw you hit me in the mouth. I'll tell you, this was just a terrible flying experience, one of the worst I've ever had. On an airline whose name shall remain Delta. <laughs> so we get to my in-laws. I found out we lost my aunt last week. She didn't pass away. We literally lost her. My uncle was in a, uh, uh, a card game. And he had pocket aces. He thought he had it. He thought he really did. He thought he had it. That was the punchline. Thank you. My uh, in-laws also got a new dog. I love dogs. I call them my little short friends. If you don't like dogs, you can leave right now. Now, I've had kids, so let me tell you, dogs are much better. They don't drink, smoke, do drugs. And if they get pregnant, you can sell the puppies. <laughs> My in-laws have been married for over 65 years. Can you believe that? So I asked my father-in-law, I said, Pop, what's the secret? I'll never forget what he told me. He said, son, almost every day I tell your mother-in-law, Close the door, I'm trying to take a crap. I'm out of here.